Acting Director of the Institute of Marine Affairs, Dr. Rahana Juman, said mangrove forests were once viewed as smelly, mosquito-laden areas ideal for dumping garbage. But as scientific research advance, we are learning more and more how important these ecosystems are to our very existence here on Earth, especially how they um, assist us with coastal protection and climate mitigation. She added that mangrove forests capture and store approximately four to five times more carbon dioxide than terrestrial forests. Minister of Agriculture, Land and Fisheries Clarence Rambarat said the publication will assist those doing research on mangrove forests. He commended the IME for the publication. What a lot of people are doing as good work that is not accessible and not even known. And research, if it does not end up coming into an influence in policy and inf- influence in law and changing attitudes of, and behaviors really is research that has not met its target. It's very important that we do research, but it's also very important that that research influences policy, influences legislation. He added that the publication is not just for experts in the field to add to their libraries. It is a publication that is for the country to read and for people um, of different interests to make use of. Chairman of the IMA, Hayden Alexander, said World Wetlands Day provides an opportunity to take stock of the many values of wetlands and to raise awareness of the benefits of wetlands in general. So the day was fitting for the launch of the publication. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TTT News.